The new year has brought increased attention to the Middle East on Sunday. Saudi Arabia cut off diplomatic ties with Iran after protesters stormed and burned its embassy in Tehran. The protesters broke out after the Saudi government executed the Shiite cleric Sheikh Nimr and Nimr, sparking international outrage, particularly in Shiite majority countries, Iran and Iraq. Saudi the deliberate escalation of tensions in the region by Saudi Arabia and its policy of supporting terrorism and the pressure they have put on religious minorities is dragging the whole region into a permanent conflict that only serves global imperialism. Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei condemned Saudi Arabia harshly for the execution of Sheikh al Nimr. Iran's President Hassan Rouhani condemned the execution as inhuman after cutting off diplomatic ties with Iran. Saudi Arabia gave the Iranian ambassador 48 hours to leave the country. Saudi Arabia is in line with the Western vision for the Middle East, and this is not in line with Iran, and that has led to this increased tension with Iran. Saudi Arabia has cut off diplomatic relations, but this will not affect Iran, especially when Iran does not depend on its relationship with Saudi Arabia, regionally or internationally. On Monday, Saudi allies Bahrain and Sudan also cut off relations with Iran. The tensions stem from ongoing difference between governments in Shiite majority countries, Iran and Iraq, and Sunni majority countries, such as Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia and Iran are the major Sunni and Shia forces in the region and back opposing sides in Syria and Yemen. Hazim Abdullah, Tilisu, Syria.